Hey friends, it's Olivia Oaks. Welcome back to my channel or welcome here if you are new. This is my first time holding the microphone and I have no idea what to do with my hand, this hand or this hand. The audio might be all over the place. Today, I wanted to just be very open and transparent about me starting YouTube and what that process has looked like for me and what I want to do in the future. So I began, I began, I what? I started this channel back in July of 2020. And throughout those years, it's gone from being very consistent to taking long breaks to just stopping altogether. And I'm actually coming off of a long break currently because I had my son and during my pregnancy, I had some health complications. And so I've just kind of taken a sabbatical. Is that sacrilegious to use that in other terms? I don't know. I've taken a break from YouTube, but I found while I'm not posting that I truly have a passion to just sit and chat in front of my phone and then post it for the world to see. But the longer I take away from YouTube, the harder it is for me to get that courage and motivation to start again. If you are wanting to try a YouTube channel, you know why you haven't started yet. And more than likely you haven't started yet because you're waiting for that perfect timeline in your life to just align. You're waiting for that time, having time to edit, film, whatever the case may be. And more than likely, you're probably embarrassed to sit in front of your phone and post it. Honestly, it's really not about the strangers seeing it. It's more about the people that you do know and knowing that people that you know are going to possibly judge what you say or what you look like or what your home looks like. I don't know. You just kind of start getting in your head. And to me, my biggest battle has been the people that I know watching it versus strangers. I could have a thousand strangers watching it and feel okay with it. But if I know that my husband's uncle, Heidi, and I'm sure you're watching this and Donna <laughs> are watching it, I, I start to feel self-conscious. But I have to really get over that and push through because it is something that I really enjoy doing. It's a passion of mine. I wanted to kind of share some of my heart with you because if you are in my boat, I'm sure that you've had the same exact thoughts. I too feel like I've been waiting for my life to just align perfectly. I've been waiting for my housing situation to be perfect, to have that home that fits the YouTube, Instagram, whatever standards. I really had to take a step back and think to myself, am I wanting to be that person? Am I wanting to have the perfect home, that perfect YouTube look? Am I really that materialistic where I can't push myself to do something that I enjoy because I'm worried that people are going to judge what I have? It's something that I need to work on in my heart. I know that. They're not always bombarding my mind, but they do pop up here and there. When you see certain things, you just start to measure yourself. I, I'm sure that they're out there. They're just small YouTube channels like mine, but it's hard to find a channel that really fits the mold of me, of the time of life that I'm in. What better way, if I can't find it out there, to just go ahead and do it myself? Because I know that there's a lot of people out there that have my circumstances. I see a lot of things on Instagram, for example, where it says, do you have an expensive style but a Walmart budget? And I see those people who say they have Walmart budgets, and then I see their home, and it's amazing. I don't have that. I'm not able to do that. And so I feel like it puts really some false ideas in people's heads of what their house is supposed to look like. I think everybody needs to find contentment and myself included. We all don't have to be in the same place of life that other people are in. And do we really want to be there? I personally right now want to be a stay-at-home mom. I'm enjoying this phase of my life. The reality is, is that what we're searching for? Is that our end goal? Because if we got there, I guarantee you, you'd still feel empty. And my goal is to follow Jesus. He is my Lord and Savior. 
And I put all of my hope and trust in him. And I trust and believe that he's always going to watch over us and provide for us. And I can only find my true identity in him not in the things of my home, how I look, or in my friend group, or fill in what you feel. No, we can find our identity and we can find our value in Christ. That's what I want to share on the internet. But I love the Lord. I love being a stay-at-home mom. And I also love decorating my home and making it the best that I can within the means that I have. That's what I want my channel to encompass. If I'm not waiting around to have the perfect whatever, and I already have what I want because God's blessed me with so much, then why not go ahead and start sharing it? That's hard because it's embarrassing to put yourself out there, but I enjoy it. (laughs) If you're in the same boat, the same situation, I want you to know that if I can do it, you can do it too. That's what I wanted to share. I wanted to share my heart and that I'm moving forward sharing what my life is like, and it doesn't have to be perfect. I just want to share me. Lord knows, my family knows, I have way too many words. Let's be friends. Subscribe, please. Hang out with me. Comment down below if you're going to start a YouTube channel because I want to see it. Here's the start of reinventing my YouTube channel. I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye, friends.